Argentina can now boast that it has a pope, that it has a newly coronated queen, and of course that it has the world's best football player. Hola. On the downside, Argentina has its currency, the peso. Double-digit inflation, Argentina's longtime enemy, has been running out of control, reducing the value of the peso and prompting Argentines to take refuge in the U.S. dollar. Or at least try to. Cambio, cambio, dólares, cambio. In downtown Buenos Aires, U.S. notes are openly sold on the black market at almost double the official rate, amid strict government limitations on the legal purchase of any hard currency. This is a mess. All this funds currency speculation. People worry and don't know what to do. Last week, the parallel rate surpassed the psychological barrier of 10. People rushed to nickname it the Messi Dollar, like the number on the famous football player's jersey. The cash-strapped government is adamant it will not devalue the peso to stop the bleeding. Instead, President Cristina Kirchner has unveiled a plan to try to recover some of the estimated $160 billion that Argentines are hiding either under their mattresses or in offshore accounts. For three months, people were invited to deposit their undeclared cash here at Argentina's central bank to be invested either in real estate or in the state energy company. All this tax-free and with no questions asked. Former Finance Minister Roberto Lavagna says the measure gives carte blanche to money launderers. The ones who benefit are always those who live on the margins of the law. That means laundered money comes from different sources, but in general it comes from illegal sources. Many Argentines have reacted with outrage. I am ashamed. This is for the mafia. How can it be that a normal, honest citizen is forbidden from buying a thousand dollars to go on holiday abroad, while others, often corrupt members of the government, can easily launder their stolen money? Clean or dirty, recovering at least five billion dollars is the government's target. A short-term benefit with a big price tag, considering that it may set a bad example for those who until now have been willing to play by the rules. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.